Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, gorgeous. Hello. May I speak to my YT family? Y'all know this is rare, right? <clears throat> I'm on camera looking like this. But guess what? I feel a little bit better. I just wanted to come say hello to y'all. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I hope y'all are granted all of your wishes or whatever. Y'all see my face still a little swollen. I just wanted to come and say hey to y'all and check in. Did I get them? Did I get them? Let me explain. Yeetity. So, y'all know, I, I, I declare prank wars with the So Famous team, right? And then I remove myself from So Famous, right? And took my name back. And um, in the midst of that, I was thinking, now, damn it, how am I going to get them back if I'm not really working with them and just doing reactions, right? And still keep my YouTube family entertained and bringing y'all back and making them numbers go up and continue to keep working as well as keeping it 100 with y'all, right? So, in doing that, I remembered after I did my Tez video, um, and then he reacted, and everybody said, I think y'all need to do a face-to-face. -face. I took note of that. And I can't remember, y'all. Sometimes my memory is, is, is all over the place. And I can't remember if it was him who contacted me and said, yeah, let's do this. Or me who contacted him and said, yeah, let's do this. In the event, whoever did it, um, we agreed upon it. And then one day I said, hey. We're going to do this sit down face to face. Can, can you do me a favor? Because they pranked me. They had me planning this date for them. And they wanted to put it on social media, on YouTube. After being shipped for so long. And I'm all into it. I'm all for happiness and relationships and all of this. And, you know. Um, so they pranked me. Lo and behold, I'm thinking I'm finna do a real date. The whole house, the whole team pranked me. That just didn't sit well with me. So I'm sitting back and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to allow them to do a redo. And it's going to be a nice redo. But I got to get them back. It's prank wars. Right? Then again, this goes to show how there is no I in team. Um, and I needed some help. So I didn't tell anybody. I told one person, but she's not in town. So I ain't had to worry about her busting me out. And I didn't tell anybody that Tess was coming. Um, but I did have to ask them, hey, well, after I got sick, I said, well, I'm not going to be able to do the back and forth because I was going to be there and start recording the date and then go get him and then bring him to the date, right? So, so since I couldn't do all of that because I was sick, um, I said, hey, Binks, I need you to start recording the date for me, you know, get some good footage of them getting to getting ready and 
and I was gonna do it at home. And then we found this restaurant, uh, family owned business. It's like a cafe. I seen somebody down in the comments being a little rude. I'm confused. Is that an office or it's a restaurant? It's a cafe style. Um, if you know what a cafe looks like, then you'll understand. Very, very nice people. Um, their hospitality was amazing. And the food was delicious. So we were able to do it there. So I'm like, okay, I need you to go set up Bink and, you know, get them started on their date. And then I'll be there. And then I'll take over recording from there since they want to put their date on our platforms. She's like, okay, mom, okay. I'm busy, but I can do it for you. So she did it and I, I showed up and I showed out. And that's what they get. Um, so now it's out of my hands. Yeetity. I've seen a couple of my YouTube family. At this point, I don't think we're going to get a real date. Y'all might. It won't be for me because I had to pray, prank them to them back. I had to get my, my, I wanted my lick back. Now, what? De-Asia. One man standing. Last man standing. Because it was just me all by myself against them. So I needed some help. Why not? Why not? So now that I'm feeling better, um, we find Tez and I will finally be able to do our um, sit down sometime this week. We started one or two, and we were gonna post it, but I was mm -mm, I was looking horrible. Sounding horrible. Worse than this. Um, and I pushed through that date. I don't know if y'all could tell that I was just like, ugh. And you'd be surprised how um, something so small as a severe sinus infection can affect your health. Like I started swelling up and I was scared. I, I really think this shit was worse than COVID. Y'all go back and look at that video. Even my face went down just a little. My face was all puffy. My hands was puffy. I was like, what the f is going on here? So. um, And that was right after I had to deal with a different health issue. It actually started like the day after I got home from the hospital. So I, that was a little creepy. Um, so yeah, I just want to come on here and say good morning to you gorgeous and handsomeness. And y'all stay tuned. I think now, um, I think P did agree to give Tez a date. So I think she's going to give him a real date and then give Q a real date. I ain't got nothing to do with that, y'all. I won't be pranking nobody for their little dates. Um, and, yeah, it is what it is. And, and a small disclaimer, I, I just got to throw this out there because they say, Mama Shay messy. No, y'all messy. For those people who have been in... Tez is I'm talking about, um, you know, negative things. Because I done blocked all my Karen, Karens and, and Kens, so I ain't got no negative messages. No, this was not a stunt. Because let's be clear, I meant what I said about there is no so famous. There's always going to be a bink so famous. But far as a team, not signing anybody, not looking to sign anybody, Friendships and all of that is totally different. Collabs are totally different. Um, but no, I'm not signing anybody. That was not 
That was not to bait anybody in. That was not to try to get anybody to sign. It's not that serious. But what is serious is life. Life is too short. Um, and like I said in my video, I ain't gonna get into that. I'm gonna wait until we have our sit down. But sometimes people can fall out of miscommunication because a lot of people don't communicate to understand or even listen when they're when there's a communication going on. They just communicate just to speak. So that it is what it is. So I just wanted to let y'all know that. But everything good over here. Everything good over there. And everything good over there. Um but Y'all know I got to love y'all. I'm giving y'all this rare footage. Mama Shay, nothing on... Y'all, I'm really tripping. Like, if y'all go look at that video, I'll look like... I was like, what the, what is going on with my face? I done lost some weight. Somebody that told me shit. So, today's Mother's Day. The weather is beautiful. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm going to relax for a little while. I might come back and vlog my um, evening. If I have a couple friends over, got a she shed. And we might just be chilling. Some mothers, some seasoned mothers. I might think of a topic for us to record and talk about. But once again, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. And for, for, for those of you who have a mother that's still living, good, bad, or indifferent. <laughs> and I'm speaking from experience and speaking for myself. Love on your mama. Give her her roses while she's here. Because without her, there will be no you. I see a lot of broken families and tainted relationships and toxicity. Is that a word? With mothers and their children. Y'all better fix it. Before it's too late. <laughs> and I say that respectfully. I say that respectfully. But, it, that again, that's only my opinion. And, and my opinion may be valid to some and, and not to others. But I, I, I truly believe that because um, I've seen it. I've seen people who have parents who went to bat and did everything that they could to raise their children. Made lots and lots and lots of sacrifices that the children may not even know of. And those children don't acknowledge it to the parents. And then I turn around and I see parents who just don't even give a fuck about being a, a, a that title. They don't care about being a parent. And their children treat them like gold. Good, bad, or indifferent. They still acknowledge, hey, you're my parent. And I love you. Or, you're my parent. And I accept you as you are. You're my parent. And I forgive you. I used to say it all the time. When I was yelling at one of my kids. I say, I done seen parents that's been on drugs, gave their kids up, threw them away to the system. And their children still respect and love them. 
So make sure that ain't you if you just not into it. And I know that there's a lot of trauma that people are going through. A lot, a lot. Some spoken, some unspoken. But just don't forget where you came from. He's the reason we're all here. But he's the reason that you got chosen to have the parents that you have. So, what I'm going to do on this Sunday, I know it's a lot of you out there that can and will honor your mother on Mother's Day. But those of you who haven't, if you've never done it, or if you ain't did it in a while because something didn't happen or something was said, a phone call, not a text, a phone call or a pop-up visit. Just to say three words. It can be, I love you or happy Mother's Day to your mama. That's it. Ain't got to be much. But, y'all, I'm going to get myself together. Um, and I'll see y'all a little bit later. With some shenanigans, I might throw a review. You know what? I am not a review. Why do I call them reviews? I'm going to go react to, um, couple of videos I done seen. I see being dropped another banger with uh that her makeup was phenomenal. Going back on the I got beat up prank two years ago. Yeah, so let me get myself together, y'all. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love y'all and I'm gonna call y'all back.